is being remembered for fighting for freedom for the people of northern Uganda. During the, during the period when the LRA was ravaging the whole of northern Uganda, he fought so hard, so much so that uh, peace had to come to northern Uganda and Joseph Kony had to relocate somewhere else. He has been royal. You cannot even know he's, a, he's, a, he's so trained and, and a soldier like that. He has not been arrogant like some of his army officers, you see. So I actually don't know what happened. Maybe it could have been fate, or it, that's how God planned that you go to heaven like that. But again, on the other hand, there is a need, and we have been mentioning this, that officers, especially military officers, should go for regular trainings. But I have interacted with him personally because of being a trade unionist. We have been moving with him whenever we call him in any function, any organization we are doing, he comes. Even just last week, we were with him in Hoima, we in the stakeholders meeting, uh, us as hotels union. So I really feel bad because he's a very formidable person down to us. But overall, the message I want to put across is that when we are in leadership, when we are in certain positions and we are working with people, we need to, to ensure that they are also comfortable. We may not be equal, but at least there are certain basics that we all go through. If, for example, you feel hungry, then it means you are scurry or your housemaid or whoever you work with can also get hungry. If you are taking back your children to school, you need to recognize that other people also have, 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 have children to take back to school. So